Hi, my name is Chris Centeno. I'm the medical director for Regenerative Sciences and also a, an adult stem cell researcher and a medical doctor who specializes in interventional pain management. I'd like to talk to you today about using adult stem cells to heal fracture nonunion and also in general a little bit about what is a fracture nonunion. How do fractures heal? That's really I think the important question if we're going to be discussing fracture nonunion. Fractures heal by adult stem cells migrating to the site, differentiating into osteoblasts, and then those osteoblasts producing bone. What does that mean? It means basically that you have adult stem cells that are located in your bone marrow and in the periosteum, or sort of on the out, outer side of the bone. Those go into the fracture site. Those turn into... Uh, bone producing cells or osteoblasts. Those osteoblasts uh, produce bone to heal up the site. So all those things are necessary and what's also necessary is a good blood supply to the area, good nutrient supply, and good stem cells and certainly enough stem cells to make the repair possible. What happens when fractures don't heal? Well, either not enough adult stem cells migrate to the site or because of poor nutrition they can't heal the fracture. So in this case we have fewer stem cells going into the, the site and again these are your own adult stem cells. They're differentiating into bone producing cells but there aren't enough of them to actually get the site to heal. So that's a fracture nonunion or uh, in medical term uh, or medical terminology an inability to form a union or uh, a healing of the bone. How can stem cells heal a fracture? Stem cells are injected into the fracture. Think of this as more repair cells to help the ones that are there already. So basically this is nothing more than putting more soldiers on the ground or more repairmen in the field to try to get the job done. So these cells are injected into the site. They then turn into bone producing cells and then enough bone is produced to get the site to heal. And again, this can be done via an injection. It does not need to be done in most instances with another surgery. So we see many patients who have been told they need another surgery to remove hardware or put new hardware back in or do bone grafting. In our experience, this doesn't need to happen. It can all be done through a needle under x-ray rather than a whole other big surgery. So here's a case of a 37-year-old white female who had fallen over her dog and injured her uh, arm bone or humerus, which was operated with plates to stable, stabilize the fracture. This was a fairly big fracture and regrettably she was a smoker, and in smokers it's very common that the fracture doesn't heal. She had tried a bone stimulator, which had failed, and at nine months the fracture had not healed, and her only option was to have the bone rebroken and reoperated or to do a bone graft to the site. She was also still smoking at this time, so this was a particularly di difficult patient for anyone to try to heal this fracture. As you can see here, the fracture line, which is clearly visible there on the image uh, above, which is the before image, and then the fracture line about five weeks after. So you can see there the fracture line before and the fracture line about five weeks after we had placed stem cells into that fracture. What's important here is, again, she had no activity restriction during this time. She simply got an injection of her own stem cells into the fracture. So there wasn't any surgery required here, and the fracture healed like it was supposed to. Uh, she's doing extremely well now, more than a year after this procedure. The area has been completely healed according to her surgeon, and nothing else needed to be done. So thanks for watching. For more information on this procedure, which is called the Regenex procedure, uh, see Regenex.com. That's Regenex with two X's. 
again, the most important thing is this can be done with lots of different types of fractures. Uh, we've done this with uh, tib-fib or tibia uh, fibula fractures that have been rotted and not healed. Uh, we've done this with sacral insufficiency fractures in the elderly, one 82-year-old patient. Uh, we've done this in patients with uh, fractures uh, in, in the foot that have not healed. In that particular patient, a patient with multiple sclerosis who had other problems outside of just her fracture. So this can be used in a lot of different parts of the body, not just the uh, the arm uh, or the humerus patient that I discussed here today. So thanks for watching.